Hey everybody, it's Dave. It was refreshing to see Marcus McConte. I didn't know that much about him. I respect his law enforcement background. We're similar in that in that area. We both have that kind of a background. So it's thin blue line. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, he's like me. He understands evidence, not just talk and hot air, right? I think he's spot on with the connection that uh, Jason Lee and George Webb are probably gay lovers or former gay lovers. Uh, based on some of the comments I've received from women uh, offline that have had contact with George and Jason Lee, I'd say that's about right. Um, you'll have to listen to Marcus. He paints the picture. He does the diagnostic analysis. But suffice to say, I don't think there's a closet big enough to hold those two. Um, the way they act, they were into cars all the time, uh, sniping at each other like an elderly couple and the way Jason rushed down to Zanesville to rescue George. I mean, Marcus does a good job. I have to, I have to go along with him. And I didn't know uh, Jason Lee's neighborhood was the most openly pro-gay neighborhood in the entire world. That sounds about right. So I think there's a lot of questions about how intimate the relationship was. I think that's something that we need to consider. And then Marcus does a pretty good job of analyzing what probably happened as an accidental overdose of these drugs, and I happen to agree with that. So I would say on both major points, uh, the fact there's not a closet big enough to hold Jason and George, I agree with that. And the fact that Jenny Moore probably died of an accidental overdose, I agree with that. So I'll leave the link below. Kudos to Marcus and thanks for the fresh information.